Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back to another tutorial. It's me, Angie, and I'm back with a new tutorial. If today is your first time of stopping by my channel, you are on the right channel. Welcome, my returning subscribers. You guys are amazing. Thanks for your support. Guys, today's tutorial, I want to show to you guys how to DIY a bell sleeve. It is so easy to achieve. So guys, without wasting much of your time, let us dive into today's tutorial. Guys, I have my material here. So to achieve a bell sleeve, you need to have the idea of how to achieve a normal sleeve. So I've made a well tutorial on how to achieve a normal sleeve. I will link it on the description box below for you guys to check it out. So it's very easy. Just take your material. This is the material I'm working with. Just fold it in two because you are cutting out two sleeve. So you fold it in two in this form. You fold it in two in this form. Normally when cutting a normal sleeve, you will fold it back again in this form. Do you see it? To cut out. But in cutting a bell sleeve, you have to fold it, fold it in a diagonal form. Just you fold it in this form. Do you see it? This is the way to fold it. So now we have folded it in a diagonal form just to achieve our measurement. So now this is our sleeve pattern that is the way we are going to cut it out so now we have folded it remember we are cutting out two two pieces of it so now we are going to take our measurements so now here is our starting point we are going to take here as our starting point here is our starting point. On this point is our starting point. Here is our starting point. Then we need our cap's height. The cap's height we are working with is three and a half inches. I hope you guys know how to achieve your cap's height. Divide your boss measurement by 12 and add half inch to it. Whatever you have is your cap's height. So the cap's height I'm working with is three and a half. So I will now measure my three and a half here and equally measure my three and a half on this side. Then I'll also join it together. So now I've joined it together. So now I'm going to, from this point here, our starting point, I'm going to mark a straight line to the end of our cap's height on this side. So I'm going to mark it in this form. Do you see it? So now we are going to take the midpoint of this line that I marked. So the midpoint is seven and half inches so we divide it in two let's call it seven inches we divide it into three and a half so here is our three and a half on this three and a half i will now come up by half inch then i'll connect it with a straight ruler to this point you see it and with this, my armhole curve, I'm going to connect also from this half inch to the main point that we started in this form. Do you see it? That is to give it a curve. Do you see it? With the armhole curve, then I curve it to this point. Do you see it? Then I now bring it down to the cap's height end. Do you see it? So now this is the back side of our armhole. So on this half, on this midpoint, I'm going to also come down by half inch. We are trying now to get our front 
armhole come down by half inch and also connect it in this form just a little bit connect it in a curvy manner back to the starting and also come down and connect it back to the cap's height point do you see it need so this is the first one the back armhole and this is the second one which is the front armhole do you see it so we have gotten our shoulder side so now we are going to determine the length you can make any length of your choice so now from this starting point from this starting point i'm going to see what i have left i have 22 inches left so i'm going to mark at it this is at 22 then i'm going to measure 22 all round So I'm measuring 22 all round. And also on this side. So guys, this is it. So this is our. So let's check if we have our correct measurements. Yes, what I'm looking for is 9 inches because my armhole is 18 inches divided by 2. I'm going to have 9 inches and I have exactly what I need. Do you see it? So now the next thing is just to cut our panel out. So on this side, we are going to cut out first the back side, which is this. Then we are going to remember we fold it in two. So now we are going to open it up to cut out the front part. So guys, this is our sleeve. Do you see it? So the next so now guys this is our sleeve that we have just cut out so the next thing to do now is just to come in by some inches and trim off these edges to be neat and also use it also to shape the side of the armhole so now i'm going to take back my tape so this is my tape i'll come in by three inches from here i'll come in by three inches to here so i'm going to connect it to this point i'm going to connect it to this point so i came in by three inches then i'm connecting it to the point here so let me take my ruler this is just to give it a nice shape and on the armhole it remains the same you see it so i'm going to now cut it out and also do the same to the other one so now we have a neater finishing do you see it so now this is our bell sleeve so the next thing now on this down part i would like to hem it or tape it with another color that is i'm going to use half inch to close the side for then i'll fix it to the top that i'm making then i'll put it on the mannequin for us to see how it looks now guys i have attached our bell sleeve do you see it so this is the bell sleeve i now hemmed it with bias to retain the length of the sleeve that i needed so i decided to fold it with bias you can equally fold it on the without bias or with bias the choice is yours so now i'm going to put it on the mannequin for us to see how our bell sleeve looks now guys this is the bell sleeve that we have just diy do you see how beautiful it's looking i've matched it with the palazzo pants do you see it do you see it guys i've matched it with the palazzo pants 
Also, I'm going to drop the tutorial on how to achieve this palazzo pant. It's so easy. Just check it out on my channel. Do you see it, guys? So lovely. So if this tutorial on how to achieve this bell sleeve has been helpful to you, don't forget to like. Also, the full tutorial on how I achieve this overlap crop top, I will also drop it soon on channel. So watch out for these videos. It is so, so interesting and simple to achieve. If this tutorial has been helpful, don't forget to like it so that others can equally benefit from it. I remain IG Designs. Thanks for supporting me. See you in my next video. For now, bye.